creating a simple lychee or crested gecko setup. So what we have here is a little jungle earth, tropical terranium, and that's a little bit of substrate for the first layer. That's going to be the layer that kind of supports some of the humidity that I'm going to add. Right now we are using a 8 by 5 by 11 container and this is for a very small um, lychee or crested gecko. Um, I have a lychee coming in the mail and this is going to be a very temporary setup for it until we get it used to eating. So we bought a little tree from Petco and I got these branches here and I have these tools. I'm going to drill some holes in these branches and through the side here so that way it has something to perch on. So I'll show you guys the after because I have nobody to hold the camera. Alright, now that we got some branches in here, as you can see, um, maybe from a different angle, some of them kind of float, kind of hang, kind of resemble like a tree. Some of them are leaning against other logs. Um, I have screws going in them to hold them into place. And uh, you just need a good drill. And um, you can do anything with that. And then you need a good bit here. Um, so that way you can get into there. So that's the next step um, for this substrate and this little enclosure. The next thing I'm going to do is add some humidity. I'm trying to do that last. I have a bucket here where I'm going to pour some equal earth type stuff into. Um, that way, boom, coconut husk bedding. It's like eco earth. It goes in there and it expands. And that increases the humidity. So I'm trying to do that last so that way I don't lose all that humidity. All right, here we have our eco earth type substrate, our coconut fibers inside some really warm water. It comes inside those round bricks. And what you want to do is you want to let that warm water get in there until it gets soft enough where you can actually break this up. Um, some people, you know, they might use a knife or, or something like that. I like to let it sit. And then you can kind of crack it there against the bottom. Again, I'm just in a bucket here inside the, the sink. Just kind of cracking it up. Water is as warm as you can tolerate getting your hand into. Uh, warm water holds humidity a lot better and moisture so this warm eco earth slash coconut type fibers will hold a ton of humidity I actually use this for my uh, leopard geckos hide she has a very cool hide um, in which she loves to be in when she's shedding and she spent the last three days in there right now um, and that was just made out of like a plastic takeout container around one and some of this substrate here uh, that we're using so this stuff will thicken now it looks like I used too much water this time but I know over time it's, it's gonna get thick and I can strain it so it's not gonna be bad the water level was initially around here but you know that stuff just absorbs so much of the water and like I said even though I know I use a little bit too much and normally when I have anything left over what I'll do is I'll take it and I actually flush it down the toilet um, but only when I've got most of it out I don't want to do big clumps to clog up any pipes so I'll show you what our next step is gonna be here um, as soon as it comes to it and that'll be actually I'll be adding this and you'll see when this is added to the box over there right now I got a huge mess of things going on here um, but yeah, so we got some holes in the side and some holes in the lid here just to get ready, um, for this pretty little lychee that we're going to be having, uh, over tomorrow. So yeah. So here's the amount of substrate that we had left. I drained it into the strainer that I actually used to collect snake poop with, and I just poured it from the bucket. The water pours right off the bottom of the strainer and it leaves whatever substrate you have left. And we sprinkled some of it here inside of our 
container. Let's see if I can back up. I got a mess because this is a project for me. And you can see there's humidity building up in here already. And yeah, that's what we'll have. We have our suspended branches, simulate some trees. Hopefully it thinks it's in the treetop. Um, these things are super small. It's gonna be 21 grams. It's about three months old. And yeah, these guys need to um, have space, but they also need to be able to find their food. And that's why I created this container. I have plenty tanks from Exoterra and Zilla and stuff like that. Um, but I felt this was super important to just with this animal to monitor it and watch it because it is such a young lychee. This is going to be the youngest lychee I have. We have a Grand Terra and a, I think it is a Pine um, Island already. So this one's going to be another GT mixed with, I forgot what it's mixed with. It'll be in the description though. A Swirl, I think it is. So it's super small and it's going to be super young. These two are going to mate someday and hopefully get some beautiful, vibrant colors. And this is what I'm going to choose to keep it in. So we'll take the lid and it'll just kind of pop on here like that. I'll put a gauge in there to measure the humidity. I only have a manual one, so I'm going to go buy a digital one because I don't really trust those manual ones. And this will be the animal's home for now. As you can see there's holes on each side for airflow and some of that humidity can release itself. And yeah. That'd be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to say something. Shoot me a comment. Please feel free to ridicule and say whatever it is you have to say. I know this isn't like the most expensive setup, but that's kind of what I wanted to demonstrate. This is under $100. I think for all the accessories, and I didn't even use that, um, and I didn't even use the tree bark, the cork bark, which was probably one of the most expensive things. And I still have some branches left over. I think I spent 50 bucks for everything total at Petco. Um, and then with this container, I think this was like, don't quote me, maybe $9, $8 at a Target, I believe it was. And as you can see, again, there's the dimensions of it. So that way you know exactly what it is. And I'm pretty sure I got it from Target or Walmart. Those are the only two places I go to, but I'm almost 100% sure it was Target. So yeah, this is what you'll have there and I'm gonna have it set in front of a window so hopefully it gets lots of light um, and for now this is all and maybe I'll show you guys when the Lisi gets here tomorrow and uh, not sure what I'm gonna name him but thanks for watching guys